My name is Vahid Chitzos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Uh, thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. My name is Denise Brandon. I'm coming to you from Chilliwack, British Columbia. Awesome. Come on, British Columbia. Do you guys say different things for different stuff that we don't say in the U.S.? Can you tell us like one of those weird things? Uh, <laughs> think about uh, it when you come. <laughs> okay, off the top of my head, no, I don't really can't think of anything. Because I went to, I had a friend that came from Minnesota, and there, you know, she's like, "Can we go get a pop?" And I'm like, "What's a pop?" She's like, "Pop." I'm like, "What's a pop?" She's like, "Soda." I'm like, "Why can't you just say so?" She's like, "Well, we don't say you know soda over there. We say pop." So it's we say pop too. too. You say part two? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so it took me like five minutes to find out what she wanted. I was like, what's a pop? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's dive into it. Entrepreneurship. What is one or two suggestions or one or two ways that you have implemented for yourself to learn more? I feel like as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, we always need to be learning. What are a couple of tips that you can share with us? Well, I do a fair bit of reading and listening to podcasts. I I have another job as well. So um, I drive half an hour to and from work every day. So I listen to podcasts every drive to work and every drive home. Um, I download books on Audible and listen to those. Um, and I read. I like reading too, like holding up. How do you decide? In my hand. Yes. How do you decide which podcast you should be? Because I feel like there are a lot of podcasts that are just... Yeah entertaining and they're not necessarily for learning you're getting a lot of information but i don't know if you can implement it in your business how do you what's your criteria for picking those things that actually things that really motivate me they might not they might not all um be specific to my business but they're specific to building my character, building my confidence, uh, knowing that somebody else has gone through something so much more difficult or they've, they've, the, some of the things people have accomplished and, and I look at them and I say, okay, well, they've done that and they've overcome all these obstacles. My obstacles seem pretty small compared to them. If they can do that, I certainly can do it. That, so, that is a that is a, that is a that is a very 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 well. I mean, okay. So so okay, you do the thirty minutes. What if I'm not doing the thirty minute drive? What is your suggestion there? Because in LA where I live, thirty minutes is very good. If you get to your job in thirty minutes, that's fantastic. And I know a lot of people use their car as their learning center yes. because that thirty minutes. First of all, it's good when you're listening to things so you don't get pissed off at the traffic. And you don't have road rage. Yeah. So that's kind of a good thing. I think it saves a lot of lives. Yeah. And, and I'm pretty sure one day it's going to be mandatory that you have to be listening to things in the car so you don't go crazy at other people. Yeah. Well, right now, there's not that much traffic, so you're cool. But that's, I feel like they should, you, you're, that's one hour every day. That's, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. So now my other thing is for business owners. You have a job. At what point did you switch and you decided to have another side business or do something else for income? Well, it all it all started from me having some health issues and uh, I reached out to a friend who had mentioned something about uh, this business and she got somebody to come and talk to me all about it, uh, do a presentation for me. And it was more the actual um, products that, turn me on to this particular company um, rather than going actively seeking like I have had my own business in the past but then I I did a total change and I went back to school and I and I got another job which I absolutely love but this particular job this particular business is very much uh, about health-based and um, because I like I'm, I'm very, I'm very health conscious and I want to make sure that everything that is in my life is the healthiest possible for me. So it was, it was the products that turned me on to it first. And then once you get turned on to, you know, when you start to really believe in something, especially uh, women predominantly like in network marketing, women predominantly are really, really good at it because we like sharing with our friends, right? Like we, we love telling people about things. Um, we have, yeah, we have a, 
we kind of feel like we're doing our our community a disservice if we're not if we're not telling them about the good things that we've found. That is awesome. So yeah. here's my other question for you. A lot of people don't love their jobs. Okay. They're just doing, now I don't mean that they hate it, they don't want to go to work or they want to go to work and beat the shit out of their boss. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just, it may not be something that they enjoy on daily basis where they get excited to go to work. Yeah. What is your recommendation for those people? What, what are a couple of things that they need to do to make that transition? Because I think for some people, it's going to be a very scary transition, especially if all their lives, they were on job base or salary base. Okay. Well, one of the things with, with the network marketing industry is that you can do it in a couple, as little as a couple of hours a week. So you can transition to it gradually and it's you the more you put into it the more rewarded you you get be, you know like your um yeah i mean the more you work at work hard the the more reward you you get for so it. your suggestion is not to dive in a hundred percent cold turkey just jump into any type of business whatever they might be right just go if, gradually if transition ever, yeah if you have a really big financial safety net then sure go ahead and do it but for most people, like a lot of the, what, the vast majority of people don't have that huge safety net that they can just say, okay, I'm just going to quit my job, have no income coming in and uh, take whatever time I need to build my business. So it's, it's always nice to have uh, something that you can work at in all those little pockets of time that you can, you can put aside for it. Um, and as I say, the more that you work towards it, the quicker it'll come. Which, which I love it. It's performance-based. I yeah, love it. You perform, absolutely. you get paid. I love it. Yeah. That's fantastic. So here's my other question. How important is it for individuals to have coaches and mentors and somebody that they could rely on for information or guidance? I'd say it's, it's very important. Um, that's another thing. I'm not, I don't know about all network marketing companies, but um, the one that I'm in for sure, um, they are so, we have such a community of supportive people. I can go to, uh, because it, you have um, uplines and you have cross lines. And so w there's so much support and it doesn't matter whether I'm going to somebody who I financially um support through my efforts. I mean, everybody kind of supports each other. But if I go to someone who has n absolutely no impact on the work that I put in, they still give of whatever time that I need to help me out. And I think that's one of the things that makes uh, Young Living such an awesome company to deal with is just the supportive community that we've managed to build. Um, they're, they're fabulous. I think that's very, very important for the growth of any company yeah. in any level, in any industry, because yeah. if that support is there, and, and that's what I kind of feel like a lot of employees could do better if that support was there. I think more employees will enjoy their jobs um, if that support was there. A lot of times I feel like because they're giving you a salary or they're giving you hourly, they expect you to perform, but they never come and find out if what you did last year is still the same because every industry gets upgraded. I mean, you and I don't go buy cars that are like 20, 30 years old. Yeah. We'll go buy something either that's recent because we know that they're more efficient. So to me, it's like everything needs to get upgraded. Now, here's my other question for you. If somebody's out there and they're just starting brand new, where do you think they need to start on their journey on their entrepreneurship? What are like one of the two things that they need to do at the foundation stages? Um, well, first of all, you have to find something that you're super passionate about. I mean, I, I could go into network marketing in another company. Actually, a few years ago, I looked into something else. But when it com came to looking really deep into it and its impact on the whole planet it was something that i didn't find that aligned with who i was as a person and my beliefs so i think from in in my opinion that's one of the most important things it has to be something that you can be passionate about because if you're not passionate about it it's uh, yeah you can still grow 
but not in the not in the same way and not with the same um satisfaction right in your you know deep inside you that you're doing something that so aligns with who you are as a person i love it listen thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning hopefully we'll get to do more you keep up the good work i've seen i i, I know you, you you put a lot of good stuff on instagram keep up that good work i think more people need to see your videos on on instagram talking about that especially the health benefits so i'm going to turn on my notification on your page and whenever you can share anything that has to do with health, I'm interested to learn. I love learning stuff. So do I. Thank you so Thank very, you so very much. Thank you so much for being here. All right. You got care. it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.